Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python and the Python request package to scrape a list of online users from a website that requires you to be logged in. It's a very simple application, but I see a lot of videos don't really mention using cookies or how to scrape data from websites that require you to be logged in. So I'm going to show you simply how to do that. Um, this is the website on the right hand side that I'm going to be scraping data from and as you can see here there is a list of online users. Now this is the data that we're going to be scraping from here. Um, to follow along with this tutorial you should have um, Python installed and you're going to need the Python request package which is here. I've left a link in the um, description and if you scroll down to the installation page there is some instructions on how to install now um, this package recommends you use pipenv I don't if you do just copy and paste that into your terminal otherwise just use regular pip pip install requests I have that installed already so next up we can begin to scrape this page so um, before we do actually, I want to quickly give you a brief overview of HTTP and how requests are made to this web application in order to get the list of online users. Now this application specifically um, sends a get, get request to their API that returns a JSON file with all these users here. So periodically they're updating this list every minute or so. There you go, it's just updated as we've been watching. So to see how that's done, right click and press on the inspect button. And we're interested in, in the network tab here. Now this network tab uh, monitors all the requests that happen on the application or the website. And as you can see here, periodically um, requests to this count endpoint are being made. And I believe that is the inbox messages, because that's number four, and up here is number four. So every so often they're checking to see the number of messages you've got. And there's another one we're interested in called online users. So in a moment it's going to send that request and we're going to grab the details and move on from there. So let's wait for that. I think it updates every minute or so, so it's, it's due to... To update now I think there we go online users so as you can see it's made a request to this page a get request and the response is a JSON file with a list of all the users that are online okay so let's head over to Python and Let's try to send that request and see if we can get that same data. So create a new file called scraper.py and we're going to import requests and request.get and let's just copy that link, or that URL sorry, and let's print that and see what happens. So r.text will just return the response, the data. Um, on the response. So, oops, python scraper.py. Dun dun dun. Ah, here we go. So it hasn't returned the data we want. Now, the reason that is, is because we haven't um, passed along any cookies or any data to prove to the API that we're logged in. Because as you can see, it's a chat application that requires you to be logged in. So this request can only be made from users who are logged into the application and as this request is just an ordinary request sending no cookies or anything like that the application thinks we're not logged in but we can fix that quite easily so scroll down um, to the request headers and you'll see a cookie here uh, let me just copy that over to this to here um, view toggle world wrap now we're interested in this one specifically, this cookie here. So when the request is being made by the web application here, it's sending along this cookie, chat IW underscore session. 
And this cookie authenticates you on the applica on the API side, so you can make this request from the browser and get the response, the intended response. So um, we can change our request a little bit to make that happen. So the first thing we're going to create is a a session object. Now this object um, is a a session, like a browser session, that stores cookies um, and other information that allows you to make um, requests in your in your uh, script, like so, session.get, and any request that's made using the session um, object will use the same cookies. So if that sounds all confusing, let me just show you what I mean. So here we've got a new session, and we're going to change that to session and let's just test that still works oh what's happened sorry too many typos I'm, I'm live coding it's a bit awkward there we go it still works but we're still not getting the data we want just yet because we haven't passed in the cookies so next up we need to create a cookie jar so to do that it's request.cookies.request cookie jar now a cookie jar is just like a list or a, 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 a dictionary um, that stores cookies basically. So let's add a cookie to the cookie jar now. That sounds so weird, like a school nursery rhyme. Right? <laughs> um, so that's the name of the cookie and then the, the value of the cookie is this here without the equal sign. Right? And Next, we need to add this cookie jar to our session object. Session.cookies equals jar. And finally, pass these cookies along with the request. So pass, actually, no, we don't need to do that, sorry. My bad. So that now should return the same data as it does in the browser. Because when we make this request here using session.get, it's going to pass along these cookies. So let's give that a try. There you go. Like magic, it works. And if we import the JSON package, we can pass this data quite easily. Oh. And print J HTML. And let's just print the the first user in the list. There we go, so we can see the user ID, the sex, the nickname, country code, country name, state, age, app, VIP. And that's how you scrape data from endpoints that require you to be logged in. You just simply pass along the cookie, and it's the same with most applications I find that do the same sort of thing. It's just a bunch of cookies that are set. Um, so that's about it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm just starting to do more videos now, so um, if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe, and I'm open su to suggestions on future videos. Leave a comment below. If you have any problems, again, leave a comment and I'll help you out. Have a great weekend, guys. Have a great week. Have a happy 2019. Goodbye.